Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Wiz, and today, man, I'm showing you guys how I won the 2K League Become a Pro event twice. I won it on Shooting Guard and on Center during the 3v3 events and the 5v5 events. This first gameplay is going to be me on Shooting Guard during the 3v3, and then after this gameplay, I'm going to be showing you guys me on Center during the 5v5 game. If you don't know what this event is, pretty much you go in, you play in the event center. The top five players at each position get unlimited dunking boosts, or dunks and layups boosts, I should say, and the top three players get entered into the 2k league draft. They do have to go through the combine and stuff like that and like screening, but pretty much if you do everything right, you'll be in the 2k league draft. If you guys don't know, this event was in 2k20 as well and I did win twice as well I won once in the 3v3 and once in the 5v5 just like this year but last year I won on point guard during the 3v3 and I won on shooting guard during the 5v5 but this year I wanted to be different I wanted to play center on the 5v5 I wasn't even trying to win I'm not gonna lie but I'll, but I'll get more into that when I'm showing you guys that gameplay but you guys see me on the threes just going crazy. I can't miss, bro. Like, I was locked in. I wasn't even trying to win. I'm not gonna lie. My guy C4 got bored. If you're an OG subscriber of the channel, you know C4. He was my duo in 2K19. He was really, like, the best center. And I was one of the best stretches. And we would just go crazy. We'd go on 20-game streaks in the stage on the twos every day. Just playing like this. Literally just him hitting me, me shooting. It, it was pretty fun, man. So he hit me up asking, uh, yo, you want to play this event? I want to get these unlimited boosts. And I was like i got you bro I'll lock in and you guys see me i was not missing man i don't know if it was the plus five to my attributes from top 10 i don't know if it was just me wanting to help c4 win but i was so locked in during this event bro and i streamed all of it on twitch so if you guys don't follow me on twitch make sure to follow me there i'd be streaming a lot and it's not gonna change man i, I want to make some out of this legend grind you know i want to stream a lot i want to make a bunch of videos so hey man if you aren't following my twitch make sure to follow my twitch i had just applied for partner yesterday Yesterday. so hopefully we get that that would be really cool you guys have been showing so much love on the youtube videos on the twitch streams everywhere so i just want to say thank you guys for all that man this couldn't be possible without y'all so thank you guys very much you see me just ending this game super quick seven for seven like bro come on bro i'm telling y'all this i'm telling you i was ending games so quick bro so quick and if you guys didn't notice i was getting error coded after every game but this is one of the last games in the event uh you know i'm fading right here off the the, the fake screen and that's just green man I, one thing i've noticed about the plus five everyone keeps asking me like do you really feel a difference like not really usually not the only time i really feel a difference is during the first shot and my hypothesis of why i feel different on the first shot is the plus five kind of acts like a little like takeover boost almost like, you know how you make a shot and then you have like a little bit of takeover and it just makes your player a little bit better it feels like the first shot of the game i already have that with the plus five that's what it feels like. Obviously, if the plus five went towards badges, I definitely feel it more than I do now. But the plus five, I can feel it a little bit, and especially on the first shot. I know a lot of people have been asking me that. But you see me, bro. I'm ending these games so quick, bro. So quick. But I miss a shot right here. Yes, I know I am human somehow. I did miss a shot right there. It's all good, though, because I'm green in that one, and I'm ending the game. So I'm gonna load into the park and show you guys the leaderboards right here. We would have came first place on shooting guard and small forward. The number one guys were boosters. The from one X kid was a booster. I was literally ahead of him like in the beginning of the event, but then he just took off and won by like 60k. Like that's not even humanly possible. But I don't want to talk about that. But y'all see the record starting off the new season pretty well, man. Now I'm gonna show you guys some 5v5 gameplay of me on center. Pretty much, if you want to win this event on center, you just gotta play like a mix of Tom Brady and Nikola Jokic. You just gotta basically be the point guard and you just gotta chuck outlet passes, bro. That's all you really gotta do. As you guys can see, just call me Tom Jokic, man, because I am just chucking it down the court every single play. Look at me, I get the ball back. I tell my guy Perky on at a back door. Shout out to all my teammates, Chamoma, Gilly, uh, Help Defense, and Perky on it. Perk almost won. I think he came like seventh place on lockdown, which is kind of crazy, man. He was dropping like 50 points on lockdown. So shout out to him. Shout out to my guy Chamoma for helping me. Because going into this event, I was I was just trying to play for the rep. I was like 92% to uh, veteran three. So I was just grinding, man. I was really just trying to get some rep. And this is honestly the best way to get rep in the Pro-Am is get a bunch of rebounds and assists. This team, we made it like five minutes before the event started. Chamoma uh, finished his video, editing his video like right before it started. Uh, help defense was actually in the chat. So shout out to him. He really came from the chat and played for all six hours, man. Shout out 
to him. His jump shot was a little clink doodle, but it's all good. He ended up getting it down by the end of the event. He was shooting pretty good. But you see me, I get the ball back throw. I am just throwing steamers, man. That's what you gotta do, is you gotta just play the point guard as a center get as many assists and rebounds as possible. Usually when I play center, I'm on a popper or a build that can shoot. So playing on this build is kind of insane. I will show you guys the build at the end of this video. It's literally like a 6'11", just straight defense and playmaking. Barely any finishing, barely any shooting. Like it's not a good build, but I'll show you guys what I had to play with. You see me, I'm the big dog in the paint, just getting all the rebounds, just chucking it down the court to either Chamoma back door and Perkiana in the corner just we had all our, we had our little system going we were just going crazy they were telling me who to hit on the outlet passes you know and i'm just dotting them trying to help them get rep and me win the event as well as get some rep if you're still watching the video man i really appreciate you like for real man just let me know in the comments how you guys are liking season two i'm really not a fan of them resetting the records and everything bro i, I don't think that's the right way to do it if they if they are gonna do that they need to have a tab where you can see records from each season and an overall record because without having a record of your record there's no point of having a record you know what i'm saying that was low-key bars i'm not gonna lie but hopefully 2k can you know make better on what they've done after this season because them resetting every single record is it, that's not the move i'm just i'm just telling them right now but you see perky is gonna miss that i get the ball back i tried hitting help defense he wasn't there and he hits me back and i hit chomoma bro if y'all don't know about chomoma big shout out to him bro i've known him since 2k18 i remember when he had like 10k subscribers bro he literally made a video back in the day trying to help me learn how to dribble because i was a post scorer slash stretch big back in 2k18 so i had no idea how to use my right stick at all so this dude chamoma bro i had like 300 subscribers this dude was trying to teach me how to dribble he made a whole video at like 3 a.m bro good times man shout out my guy chamoma and again shout out to all my teammates gilly help defense and perky really couldn't have done it without them in this event because you know they they literally they were helping me get all the assists helping me you know score because I, I i'm not gonna lie i scored a cool like four points this whole event the whole six hour event i scored like four points so they were just carrying me bro get i was getting all the assists all the rebounds a lot of blocks and stuff like that so shout out to them man i, I really can't i can't say it enough bro see i have 40 assists in this gameplay bro i have 40 assists i think my best game overall was 23 boards and 45 assists like bro as i said tom Jokic was going crazy once the clock hit two minutes in the fourth quarter every time a bucket is scored the clock stops so pretty much what we were trying to do is let them score or let them you know get a bucket up quick just to stop the clock and we can get back on offense and get more assists you see i'm at 44 now i get a steal i'm hitting my guy perk he's gonna front fade that and that's green 45 assists 18 rebounds i'm gonna get the ball off the inbound with four seconds left i'm gonna hit perk again buzzer beater 46 assists 6 assists 18 rebounds three blocks and three steals as you guys can see i'm first place after that game at the end of the event it took a little for me to you know find the leaderboard like it took a while for it to pop up but i ended up coming third place so i secured my league spot twice once on 5v5 once on 3v3 this is the build i was using as you guys could see it's not the greatest build of all time let's just say that but hey man it got the job done i hope you guys enjoyed the video been your boy wiz and i'm out man peace